teammates are jerks. My teammates are jerks. Why the hell you play in competitive? My teammates are jerks. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. We're talking about how shitty some of our teammates are. Wonder why. Anyhow, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, Fuck. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we are going to be talking about some really great gaming stuff, and by great gaming stuff, we mean some stuff that pisses us off. That's right, and today we are talking about competitive players in Overwatch leaving in the middle of a match. That's right, so competitive players in Overwatch leaving in the middle of a match. What can be said about this one? Well, man, for all of you that are, you know, into any of your, uh, you know, uh, uh, team-based games or anything that requires not just yourself playing it in order to have a fully functioning, uh, you know, enjoyable experience, then obviously Overwatch and Overwatch 2 most recently uh, is the one that, uh, you know, dropped to replace Overwatch, which is in essence, uh, you know, is also Overwatch. Weird how that works out with these sequels. It's pretty much the same game. Uh, man, the, the thing about competitive play in these games is that you rely on not only yourself, but whoever your teammates are and such in the game in order to have an enjoyable experience. And man, when you're on the right team with the right players in a competitive environment, it can be awesome and just such a great and fun experience man to kind of go through but if you were on the wrong team and you have some little baby you know whiny pansies or whatever that are you know on your team in a competitive environment and such uh man and they end up leaving because you don't secure a checkpoint uh, or something uh or you don't do uh you know some some you know good or another you know another aspect of a uh, you know game and and they end up just dropping the match and leaving and therefore just making your team suffer through the entirety of the rest of the match uh man we definitely don't dig that. Now, we will say that there may be occasions where someone might end up leaving a competitive match because of connectivity issues or not being able to, uh, you know, maybe a power outage or something like that, man. But the sheer amount of percentage of those folks or whatever is far less than the amount of folks that just start crying about themselves and how their team is or isn't doing, uh, man, that just ruined the game for everyone else. And for some reason, eh, you know, well, okay, we know what the reason is. For, for some reason that we'll tell you in a minute, it seems like, uh, you know, it's our team that always has someone dropping out like a little whiny bitch, uh, you know, and not kind of going through um, and, uh, you know, finishing the match, whether win or lose. You know, we understand in a competitive environment, your emotions can run high and, uh, you know, you want everything to go according to plan. And let's be honest, we know why they're dropping the match. It's probably because of our shitty gameplay, obviously. Uh, but that's not the case all the time because sometimes people might lose an internet connectivity and have to drop the match that way. Uh, but man, for, yeah, anyone to drop out pre-match, in the middle of a match, it's absurd, man. You know, you take your W's, you take your L's, uh, you know, and you, you play the game, man. You're not always going to have the best team, uh, you know, obviously... You know, 99% of the folks that play it aren't professional gamers. Everyone wants to think they are, but they don't have a placard like this indicating they're a professional gamer like we are. So, obviously, they're not as professional as we are. Uh, man, so you got these folks that, you know, just for some reason get too worked up in their own mind, man, and end up just dropping the match and leaving, man. But what that does is that screws over the entirety of the rest of your team. It's great news for the other team, man, if you're, uh, you know, playing, uh, you know, in a competitive, uh, you know, kind of game mode or game type, man, and your team's, uh, you know, doing really well. Or, uh, you know, even if your team's not doing as well as you think they should be and someone on the other team leaves, man, you automatically get a 5 versus 4 advantage now in Overwatch 2 because, let's be honest, Overwatch 2 is just Overwatch with one less, uh, you know, person on your team. They tried to kick us off there or whatever and see if people wouldn't let us, but the game lets us join teams automatically, so someone stuck with us either way. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks for you guys. Uh, we do okay on occasion, because obviously we're professional gamers. 
uh, man, but yeah, just the sheer fact, man, of people leaving in the middle of a match, if it is something that, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, their control and not something beyond their control, such as, uh, you know, yeah, an internet connectivity issue, a power outage or something like that, uh, you know, then, then that's one thing. But, man, people just leave it in the middle of a match uh, because they're, uh, you know, kind of butthurt over what else is going on in the game or, or they can't get any of the, uh, you know, stuff they want done in the game, that's just sheer, uh, yeah, that's just sheer, uh, annoyance is what that is, man, and, uh, those folks, <clears throat> they need to be lumped into a little, uh, you know, uh, queue by their own and whatnot and just play by themselves and they can all leave every match, uh, you know, as often as they want. They can have just a bunch of one verse ones or one verse no ones and such, uh, uh, you know, as far as stuff goes, but for everyone else, man, that plays the game, to play the game and have fun and yes play competitively uh you know and kind of test your skills against others and such uh man uh yeah it's the the toxic people that just uh you know can't tolerate things not going their way man that can't stick out a match man and like we said you take your wins you take your losses man and uh unfortunately uh if you get a loser on your team man that can't stick it out through an entire match uh then you know it's just sheer annoying man so uh yeah stop dropping out of matches uh lame anyhow uh Competitive players in Overwatch leaving in the middle of a match. What can be said about this one? Well, we're just going to get a good old-fashioned uh, wave goodbye to you. So, you know, we're just going to wave goodbye to you because you ruined the game for, uh, you know, the rest of your team. So, just bye. There you go. Nice little, just regular hand there. Nothing special about that. Except it's nothing special about that. No, that's it. Give us money. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't. Stop leaving during matches, especially competitive ones. Rookies.